Yeah. Hi, hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Shanmugaraj. One of the aims of this channel is to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of leadership, agile, and project management. You can join me and help me with that either by subscribing to this channel or sharing my videos to our friends. Right? So, having said that, let us get into today's topic. Currently, we are discussing some of the leadership ideas from MID School of Management. Right? So, today's topic is how continuous learning keeps leaders relevant in the age of AI. This particular article has been published in MIT in the month of August 2023 by Kara Baskin. Why it matters? Thriving in a work environment that is facing rapid change requires more than expertise. To distinguish yourself, cultivate the ability to extract and transfer learning. Let us get into the article. In today's world of rapid, non-stop technological change, imagination is key. Leaders need to adopt a change mindset in order to observe knowledge and deploy it strategically. The ability to engage in nuanced decision making can help humans stay employable as artificial intelligence and machine learning continue to ascend according to Vanessa Tansian, who is the director of client success at Life Loves Learning, a management training consultancy. At the recent MTech Next conference sponsored by MIT Technology Review, Tansian said, we have left the knowledge era, which valued the linear acquisition of expertise and we moved into an era of efficient, continuous, rapid learning where hyper adaptability is key. Essential to the process are the skills of extraction and transfer. Right? Let us try to understand the first skill which is extraction that Tanishin is talking about. Extraction refers to Applying learning to diverse situation to understand causes, events, and results. It means pausing for feedback and reflecting on it rather than just memorizing new information or forming new habits. In this process, many people first rely on single loop learning. They reflect on an event and its results and then determine a better solution for the future. Double loop learning goes a step further. Tansian explained that it requires a reflection on root causes, events, and the results to identify and address systemic problems. Double loop learning is understanding how to deal with a problem at hand, but also circumventing the problem in the first place. Learning on the job does not help us learn through. We need to take time to extract. More extraction is better than practicing something consistently. Next, good leaders ask questions to their team members. What did we learn? How can we apply it elsewhere? So often, we are moving fast and trying to be efficient. But if you are not talking, the moment to, to talk about what worked, what didn't work, what can be improved in the future, there is a missed opportunity. Good leaders also welcome feedback. Otherwise, when debriefing conversations do happen, it will be through back channels and lessons will be lost along the way. Folks tend to skirt conflict in introspective situations. They get uncomfortable. So inviting it in a productive manner makes a big difference. What do you think caused this project to go off the rails? What do we need to do differently in the future? What were some of the missteps that we had in the project planning? 
right so fostering a healthy conflict culture is also a piece of the extraction conversation the second skill tansin is talking about is transfer learning does not last unless leaders transfer the knowledge from short term memory to long term memory they can do this by taking three steps first step is link think that what the learning reminds you of we want to link the new lesson to something else in our lives transdisciplinary thinking is really powerful and it allows for innovation repeat frequency is key we need to hear something between 20 to 26 times before it actually learns with us teach share your knowledge with others teaching is one of the ways for us to really deepen our understanding as well as increase our perception of competence among others tanshian offered three techniques for applying new learning to various situations analogize as leaders we often have to have conversations with folks and if we are able to make metaphors and analogies that get people to understand what we mean we have effectively transferred that knowledge democratize get specific about the skills you want to apply by really understanding what situation you are in and then naming the lesson that you would like to apply there the third technique is behaviorize how can we break down a learning into a discrete elements of that behavior or lesson and apply it consistently over and over again right and take heart as generative ai machine learning and automation explode there is still value in human decision making machines are going to do a lot for us in the future but one of the things that they will not be able to do are some of those human flavored skills take the time to really double down on learning because that's what is going to keep us different from the machines with that we are coming to the end of this particular video hope you guys got a fair understanding on why leaders need to be continuously learning in the age of ai because we want to differentiate ourselves from robots and essential skills we are talking about from this article are extraction and transfer right how we can extract we talked about you know uh, a double loop learning right doing a retrospective applying it you now doing a root cause analysis and applying it in different situation see what happens right we also talked about several techniques or steps in transferring the knowledge right so hope you guys like this kind of videos that helps you to become a better leader right so with that i'm signing off see you in next video